Hi, I'm Dr. Kit Weathers, and it's time for the Root Tip of the Week. Today, we're going to take a closer look at the MB2 Canal. But first, let's do the magic trick of the week. Here's something you can do anywhere with a borrowed magic marker and a borrowed handful of change. We'll just drop the change on the table here. And what I'm going to do is just separate out the quarters and leave the other parts of the change off to the side. And we're going to make a little mark on every one of these coins. And we'll let the people decide what we're going to mark. Somebody may want a triangle or a square. Let's see, we'll put a square on this one. We'll put a star on that one. Uh, we'll put a triangle on this one, and we'll put a circle on this guy here, and over here we'll just put a, an X mark. So now they're all different. And now we're going to tell the person that we're going to absolutely focus on these images, and we're going to make one of those become our prediction. So our prediction is going to be the, uh, okay, we'll just say the triangle. So you let the person shake up all the coins in their hand, and we're going to eliminate all of the ones that don't show a picture. So that's only one right there. So we're going to get rid of that. We're going to shake them up again. And again, this is something that you're not doing, but the person who's working with you. And this time, all of them came up on the other side. Now, the images are still there, but the one that we picked, the triangle, is the one that came up last. So to learn the secret to this and other magic tricks in this series, go to endorootcamp.com. Okay, since we're looking for the MB2 canal, let's introduce a new character today, MB1 Kenobi. Hello, my name is MB1 Kenobi. I'm going to help you today. But my friends just my call cousin me Juan. MB2 Kenobi. You can call me Steve. Very difficult to find sometimes, but I'll give you a few tricks. And by the way, my buddy, the second upper molar, has four canals 30 to 60 percent of the time, whereas we first molars have 70 to 90 percent, we have four canals. So let's figure out some ways to quickly find that canal. Now rather than look in the little groove on the pulp floor, you have to realize that that canal is about two millimeters mesial to the groove and it may actually be in the mesial wall, not on the floor of the pulp chamber. So while we're looking all over the place for that MB2 canal, remember it's probably going to be at least one or two millimeters to the mesial and it's going to be a couple of millimeters toward the lingual root. Keep in mind too that the MB2 canal usually curves toward the buckle, so angle your instruments appropriately to help find it. The MB2 canal often travels horizontally before it turns 90 degrees down in the root. So sometimes you go in with your probe and you can't figure out why, even though you found it, it's not going straight down. So you're going to have to drill down a few millimeters, and don't worry, I can take it. And you can bypass the horizontal portion and angle your burr mesially to catch where the canal begins to drop vertically. Incidentally, uh, I have a lot of other tips, and if you go to Dr. Weather's root camp, you can really find out how easy it is to find those MB2 canals. So I want you to take some advice from MB1, and remember that those canals are there, and if you're not finding an MB2 canal, at least, at least 70% of the time, don't do upper molars. Just a word of advice. Nice talking with you today. I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye. One last trick. If you're absolutely bound and determined to find that MB2 canal and you found all the others, cleaned them out, ready to fill, and you just can't find the MB2, but you know it's there, bring them back on another visit. Don't use anesthesia. And as you drill around looking where the canal should be and go a little bit deeper, the patient usually will feel that you're getting right on top of it and they'll help you locate that canal. Anyway, good luck. Try to find the MB2 canal at least 70% of the time, and you know what? 
If you can't find it, don't do upper molars. Well, that's it for another Root Tip of the Week. I'm Dr. Kit Weathers inviting you to join me at our very next Root Camp. So long for now. <laughs>